How do you know if your JLW7 is brand new? Well, let's find out. This is the inside of the box that I had taken my other one out. It was brand new, wrapped all up in here. Anyway, so we'll start here and pull the flap, open the flap. Whoa, freeze, read. Please keep all packaging in the event of. All right, so when you open it up, there should be a protector right here. This lifts out, just a box. Then you have your manual stickers and register and a thank you card. Okay. Your woofer should be wrapped in plastic. It should not be open. It should be very stiff. If you look on the side down here, you see it's actually in another box, which is easier to see right here. This is the other box I'm talking about. This is where the handles are, where it fits in. It should be pretty hard to get out of the box. It's not something easy. I'm gonna try and set the camera down real quick and get it out. Well, as you can see, I can barely even get it out of the box. So it's definitely mounted to the box. And the box is then mounted into the box. The other thing I wanted to show you is that the sub is actually screwed in to the wood that it ships in. Um, so for in order to get this sub out of here, you have to get a flathead screwdriver, pop this ring off, which allows you access to under here and then you unscrew it from the piece of wood. You should also have a piece of plastic on the bottom motor and the whole sub should be covered with no marks. That's just some sticky stuff that'll rub off. But anyway, this is the one I have open and out of the box. And this is the other brand new one still in the box. There you go guys, that's how you know if you have a brand new 10W7, if not. When it's not new, you might find the sub not screwed back into the shipping board. You might find it loose, you might find some contents missing, you, this one might be ripped open, you might not get a manual, you might be missing this top part. There's a few different clues, but I wanted to go ahead and put this video out so other people who purchase woofers know what they're getting. Anyway, can't wait to get these set up and playing. These will be ran off a of Zapco ZK D Z2KD-2 Class D Monoblock 2000 Watt Amplifier. Anyway, y'all be easy. Peace out.